a sanctuary for exotic animals. How's his health now? He's doing good. Call the wild. Yeah. Rescued by quite an odd duck himself. We use 26,000 pounds of chicken or beef every six weeks. What was his reputation? Wild well, man. Was he a guy that played by the rules? Uh, no. When he dies, the authorities want to shut his air down. He left you with a mess. I did. That was when the anger just hit. Will it cost his widow her strange inheritance? I didn't go through everything all those years to just give up. I'm Jamie Colby, and today I'm in southwest Florida, driving through the marshy flatwoods outside Punta Gorda. You know, not every strange inheritance offers unexpected riches. Sometimes it can bring on a massive screeching headache and a huge mess to clean up. I'm Lori Carone. In 2005, I inherited an exotic zoo-type wildlife sanctuary from my husband and continues to be wild every single day. Hi, Lori. Hi. I'm Jamie. Hey, nice to meet you, Jamie. Great to meet you, too, at this animal retirement home. Yes, it's pretty much like a nursing home retirement village. We're not talking about kitty cats or puppies. I heard a roar already. Can I take a look? Absolutely. Come on. As Lori gives me a behind-the-scenes tour, I catch a glimpse of the 100-plus creatures that currently live at the Octagon Wildlife Sanctuary. Clearly the sound of feeding day yes, in they, the air. Yes, absolutely. Lori tells me every animal here is a rescue, at one time abused or abandoned, that would otherwise be euthanized. Animals like Lily, a black leopard saved from a closed-down breeding zoo, are given a second lease on life. Look at her eyes. She's she beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? Is she purring at me? Yeah, she's purring I'm right growling. now. Right now, that's a purr. And this is Onyx, an abused Bengal tiger Lori personally rescued five years ago. They used him as a photography baby. They were going to euthanize him. Onyx was malnourished as a cub and continues to struggle with painful swelling and digestive issues. He's now fed a special diet to help reduce the side effects. I just hope TV host isn't on today's menu. You want to be very safe. Watch his mouth and watch your fingers at all times. Note that I have 10 fingers starting. Okay. And I still have mine after 22 years. So oh, then I'm good. Know, or, I'm good. The first one I'll do, kind of watch me here. Sure. Bones and all. all bones and all. Okay, my turn. Aww. And now if you want, just start throwing the rest in there. Lori assures me that her fences exceed state and federal codes, which is comforting when it's the only thing between you and a 500-pound hungry tiger. Onyx, I'm your new best friend. Hey, the way to animals' heart is through their stomach. Kind of like guys. Yeah. So you have a hundred animals like this? Yes, absolutely. And each one of these animals has a story of what they went through. And so does Lori. 26 years old and just divorced, she relocates from Illinois to Southwest Florida in 1993. A few weeks later, she shows up at Octagon as a volunteer. When I first walked through the gates, I never looked back. It's then that Lori first takes note of the sanctuary's 54-year-old eccentric owner and founder, Pete Carone. Kevin Shirley was Pete's attorney and friend for over 15 years. He was a unique character. People recognized him by his hat and by his rough voice. We use like 26,000 pounds of chicken or beef every six weeks. So, you know, that's just the chicken and beef part. That's not all the rest of it. He was never too busy to stop and talk about his animals. This was his life. Right here. I'm right here. I need to get some rubbing. Like Lori, Pete also migrated south in search of a fresh...